Hi everyone, uh, welcome to myself and Evan's uh, fifth video with you. So uh, it's Keen here with you this week. So um, last week Evan did a uh, run and jump and, and throw with you. So it was kind of a, a little uh, mini circle for you. So uh, today then I will be doing uh, some soccer drills that you can do at home. So before we get started guys, um, just with the video because it's not live, you can stop and pause it at any time you need if you find I'm going too fast um, or even too slow. So as well, just that, um, just so that everybody understands uh, what we'll be doing, we're going to set up a warm up where we'll be bringing in some toe taps, um, jump, doubling the ball in between our feet. So then we're going to move on to uh, ball control, um, then we will be moving on to some passing. Uh, along with uh, running and dribbling and then we will be bringing it into a cool down. So um, we'll get started. So guys, once you're all ready and rare to go, so we'll just start jogging on the spot, get those knees high, get the arms moving as well. And on. So in about 30 seconds we'll bring in the ball. Okay, so now just slow down a second. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to start just above the right foot and stick it out the right foot. Jump in. The left foot, touch, and lunge. So, touch. Okay, stuff. Now we're gonna get the ball between our feet. So, just juggle the ball. Okay, stuff, guys. That's so great for me, but anyway, we get back here small bit. Okay, so we're going to move on so, to our main part. So, we're going to start off controlling the ball with the chest. We're going to throw the ball up. So, the whole point of this is say when the ball is coming from a height, that we're able to control it. Obviously, now with our arms, just our chest, okay? Now we're knee, not like that though. So, same, let's say, controlling the ball with our foot, like that, and again, see, as you can see guys, my left foot is better than my right, so the ball with the chest again, oh, through the ball, through the ball, uh, I threw the ball too high, we can jump the ball. Well done. Now, oh, guys, you love it better than me, so you will. That's for sure. Especially, and uh, what I will advise you, guys, is before you do this on the grass, not like right here. Well done. So guys, we're going to move around to pass and so I want you to start off with the stronger foot and then we're going to move on to the weaker foot, okay? So whichever foot is the strongest, we start off with that. For me, this is my left foot. I'm going to pass the ball against the wall. And we're going to control it. Put the left foot again. So guys, do that again. And the ball come back just every time. Okay? Nice right, stuff. So. so two more strikes so with the with the stroke of foot. So now 
So, we're going to move on to our weaker foot. So, I'm going to go with my right foot, and you're going to see how bad my right foot is. Wasn't too bad. Okay, so first, keep it up. Nearly, nearly not the guys. Okay, so you got the hang of that. So this time around, so what we're going to do, instead of controlling the ball with the inside of our foot here and the inside of our foot here, we're just going to when the ball comes back to us, we're going to shift it out to our left or shift it out to our right, okay? Not like that. I'm going to shift it out. We'll bring it back here. And we'll shift it again. So guys, that was my stronger foot. We're going to move on to our weaker foot. So guys, we're going to go again. Okay, well done. So now we're going to just move on to some one, one touch pass against the wall. So basically this, you're going to help in a game based situation where if you're in a tight space, where instead of controlling the ball and passing it, you're just going to look for a pass straight away, okay? Okay, very well, very well done. So, next up we're going to move, move on with uh, running with the ball, okay? So, how this is going to work is I'm going to kick the ball forward and run onto the ball and the same coming back from the other side, okay? So, we're going to put the ball down. I'm going to kick it forward and run. So, we come back again and do it from this side. Yeah. Going to go again. I'm going to kick it forward. So, I'm going to go again. One more time now. This time now, guys, what I want you to do when you get to the end, kick the ball ball back to here and run as fast as you can. So, we're going to go again. I'm going to kick the ball forward. Next two guys, we're going to move on to uh, tripling with the ball. So, how this is going to work, we're going to keep uh, the ball close to our feet and uh, I'm going to add in some step overs for you as well. So,
Now, next one, so guys, what you're going to do is you want to just uh, do a bit of a dribble again. We're going to drag the ball back. Put the ball again. Okay, so very well known with that guy, so we're going to move on to our, our cool down. So we're going to move the ball out of the way. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to start from here. And um, I'll see you on the side over here. All together. So I want everybody to walk forward. And put a walk backwards. Go oh, point this guys to bring down the heart rate out the next place, okay? So we're gonna stop and see if everybody can touch their toes. And on the walk over again. We're gonna see if everybody can touch their toes again this time. And now we're going to walk backwards again. And we walk forward again. So we're going to see now who can uh, stand on one leg. Just run on and switch legs. Only went there on that book, guys. So uh, that wraps everything up for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you get something out of it. Um, if any questions? Please forward them on to your teacher, and uh, uh, he will uh, inform us if there's any issues. So um, I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching.